Hey guys, this is Dev here, and I'm doing a review for iOS 6 on behalf of Chippermiss.com. So, one of the major updates for iOS 6 is the Maps app application. They added turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and this turn-by-turn -turn navigation system is one of the best in on cell phones. You, can't, you just can't beat it, but one of the problems is that it doesn't regis properly register your current location. That's probably not the phone and the service that I have. I'm on Verizon right now, so that's probably the case, because last week when I tried to find a route on, on this application, it was trying to register 16th Street instead of 20th. So, yeah, that mess messed up some of the directions that I had to get. So this one has turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and it's quite decent. It's not that bad. And the 3D application that they added is not not really good right now because they need to update a lot of stuff on there. When you try to do try the 3D apps, 3D maps, I mean, it just shows you flat buildings. Like it doesn't. It's not 3D. It just tilts the map. And that's it. It doesn't show up. The buildings and stuff doesn't show up. So it's probably because they didn't do do it for all the cities yet, cities yet. So hopefully, we're hoping by the time they have launched the final the final iOS, they'll fix that. Another thing is that for some of the app applications, they added the blue bar on top instead of the original gray top that they had. Another thing they updated in iOS 6 is the App Store. Here, this is the Featured tab, and you can see, compared to the last one, how they changed the look of it. It's it's like you can scroll through apps and stuff sideways, where compared to the last one, it was just one long list of applications. So I feel this one's much better, and you can even see that they now have a more darker look to almost all of the applications. Even here, where you can see the weather application compared to the last one, which does have a darker look compared to the last one. So, yep, yeah, it does. It do, it it is dark, but it looks a lot better because of the Retina display. They also did some changes to the settings menu. The Bluetooth option is now on the front page under the Wi-Fi, under Wi-Fi instead of being in general which I thought was of it was just it just took a couple more steps than it needed to be so it's better to it's better how they made it on the front page and the next option is do not disturb I tr tried it a bit it's just like using your cell phone on silent mode cuz I haven't got any calls when I'm on do not disturb mode so we'll see how it works out and they also combined brightness and wallpaper together so yeah personally the, the changes they made was were good so yeah and also throughout the system they also changed the menu thing when you click on that you can see how the icons for the application show up instead of just the pull up menu thing that used to show up on iOS 5 so I feel this looks it looks a lot better than it, what it used to be and you can also see how they added Facebook to it and if you do that this comes up and it's just like what you used to have for Twitter yep. so one of the brand new apps that they added was the passbook I haven't really tried it because it's really new and I don't I don't have anything that I could use on it so we'll see when it comes out and a lot of the stores start using it. We'll see how it works. And I'll do another video for it. So... One of the feature, new features they added in the Mail app is that you can add pictures and videos right from the Mail app. So it's really easy and you just do that. Go through, Go all the way to the right and it says insert photo or video and you click on that and it'll take you right to your photos and stuff and you can pick out anything you want this made it a lot easier because 
I always used to go to mail, type up something, and then remember that I had to add a picture to it. So I would just have to redo it or select it, go through the Photos app, and then attach something, and then paste it or retype it. And sometimes that w was would be a big hassle to me. So I feel it's a good ad. Along with everything being dark on iOS 6, they made the music application white-based instead of what it used to be on black. So now the whole application is pretty much white and gray, and when you go to now playing, it goes to black and white instead of what, what it used to be. So guys, as of now, that's all from me on iOS 6, and I'll get back to you guys with another video once iOS 6 comes out for everyone. So, thanks for watching, and if you guys like the video, give us a thumbs up, that'll help us out a lot, and subscribe to our channel. Thanks a lot.